Requirements analysis and modeling are two critical stages in the software development process. Requirements analysis involves the systematic examination of the needs and constraints of the stakeholders in a software development project. The goal of requirements analysis is to clearly understand the requirements for the software and to ensure that the final product will meet the needs of the stakeholders. This stage is critical to the success of the project, as any misunderstandings or miscommunication about the requirements can lead to costly delays or a final product that does not meet the needs of the stakeholders. Modeling, on the other hand, involves creating a representation of the software system using various models and diagrams. The models created during this stage help to clearly visualize and communicate the system's structure and behavior, and to identify potential problems early in the development process. There are various types of models used in software development, including data models, functional models, and behavioral models. Each type of model serves a different purpose and provides a different level of detail about the system. Overall, requirements analysis and modeling are essential components of the software development process, as they help to ensure that the final product meets the needs of the stakeholders and is built in a structured and efficient manner. Requirements analysis process. The process of requirement analysis includes the following steps. Identifying key stakeholders and end users. The first step of the requirement analysis process is identifying the key stacker holder who has the major say in the project and who are the sponsors of the project. These stakeholders make all the important decisions related to the project and have the final say. Then you have to identify the end users. The users for whom the project is intended as their inputs and feedback will majorly impact the project's success. Capturing requirements. The next step is capturing the requirements of the project from the stakeholders and end users. Here are some ways you can use to capture the requirements. One-on-one -on -one interviews with end users and stakeholders to get an idea about their individual requirements. Conduct group interviews to understand the requirements of stakeholders and end users as a group and to avoid conflict of interest at later stages. Utilizing use cases to get a walkthrough of the product through the eyes of the end users. Building prototypes to provide a sample of the final product to the end users and stakeholders. Categorizing requirements. The requirements are of various types and it is wise to categorize them accordingly to avoid any confusion. There are four categories where you can divide the requirements. Functional requirements. Technical requirements. Transitional requirements and operational requirements. Interpreting and recording requirements. After you categorize the requirements, the next step is interpreting and recording those requirements which are achievable. Here are some ways of analyzing and interpreting the requirements. Defining requirements precisely. Make sure that the requirements are laid down properly, sufficiently detailed, and in accordance with the business needs. Prioritizing the requirements. You can make a list of requirements ranging from the most important. Carry out an impact analysis. To understand the consequences of the requirements, you can initiate an impact analysis to predict the consequences. Resolve conflicts. You can arrange a meeting with your stakeholders to take care of conflicting requirements. Sign off. The last step is getting signatures from your key stakeholders on the final decisions that you have made on the project requirements. Requirements analysis and modeling techniques. Business Process Modeling Notation BPMN BPMN is a graphical technique of representing your business process using various graphs. It helps in simplifying the representation of the business process so that it is easy to understand. It includes the following. Flow objects. Connecting objects. Swim lanes and artifacts. UML. Unified Modeling Language. UML is used to develop. Visualize and document the software system as it is a modeling standard. It helps in capturing business processes and artifacts and it includes the following. State, object, activity and class diagram. Gantt charts. Gantt charts are used for representing the project tasks along with their timelines. It helps business analysts in keeping a track of the timeline for all the project tasks. Data flow diagrams. A data flow diagram is an important technique 
which is used for highlighting how data processing is done by a system with regard to inputs and outputs. A data flow diagram includes the following components. Process. Flow. Store. Terminator. To define the scope of the project, a DFD can be designed in the early requirement elicitation process of the analysis phase in the system development life cycle. Gap analysis. Gap analysis as the name suggests helps in analyzing the gaps within the project requirements. It helps business analysts in determining the present state and the target state for a product. As a business analyst, you should learn at least a couple of techniques and when to use them. It will help you in having a better perspective and use of the correct techniques in a given context. Requirement Analysis Tools Some of the most commonly used tools for requirement analysis and modeling are as follows. Jammer Software Calibre Visual Requirements Orcanus Modern Requirements IBM Engineering Acompa Rec Suite Perforce Helix RM Pearls 